We're extremely proud to be able to announce this at CES. It's very important for us. Yes, uh, we are dealing here with an industry maritime that uh, for some time have needed a big boost on ICT. And for the first time, I think, ever, one company can actually provide a full ICT solution for this industry. And that's what we have announced today, a maritime ICT cloud. Okay. How do you manage to connect, and you mentioned Maersk, Maersk is a big yeah. customer with 400 vessels around yeah. the world. How do you provide seamless connectivity to all those vessels regardless of whether they can access the cellular network? Yeah, I can tell you, it's, it's a bit of a complicated but, uh, solution, but keeping on a high level, it's of course, there is a own network on every vessel. It's a GSM network. There are satellites connected, and when, when you get close to shore, there's of course roaming. So for once, we have actually managed to connect even the seas. Uh, so that, that's to give a high level description. So your container will be monitored regardless where it is. Okay. So is Ericsson providing a service to the customer or are you working through various carriers around the world? Ericsson, if we take the MERS case, Ericsson is providing that, but of course we have AT&T there as a global roaming partner. So it, it can differ, but that's the solution that has been chosen there. Okay. So in the MERS case, it's AT&T is Who the primary the customer and you're providing the connectivity globally. Yeah, so you can say we are the one that's the prime contract and full responsible. Right. But for, from a connectivity point of view, it's AT&T there. Okay, so but, but that can differ. We have to remember that every shipping company is unique, right. but the maritime cloud can actually is a global that can be provided regardless. What can you tell me about the uh, the cloud service and the portal yeah. that you can make available to clients? Yeah, I can tell you for now we have trading, for instance, three use cases. One of them is about the crew welfare. It's more and more important, you know, telemedicine, what can the crew re really have access to while you are out there? That's one of them. Two, we have a fuel efficiency, which is a very important part of this industry. How you can monitor that from land. There's no need to have a high speed if you have to wait one or two days outside the port before you can get in. Right. And third, it's cargo management. It's really where is your cargo at a given time, but also working on what's happening inside the reefer container, the temperature, the cooling, how you actually, so you don't have to go there and visit the container constantly, but you can monitor it. That's three use cases, but more are coming up. Okay. How do you, uh, walk me through the implementation uh, of, a, of a, a major global deployment like MERS, where you've got to put sensors on the containers, yeah. What, what does the yeah. implementation look like? I, I think, first of all, it looks like we have to look at the company and what vision do they have as a company? Where do they want to be, let's say, five, seven years from now? And, and when they have realized what they can do with, with the network society, then we have to look into the smallest pieces of sensors, connectors. Okay, how are they connected on land? How are they connected offshore? Okay, how do you bring that into a network operation center? And once you have that, we would like that data to be real time because old data we don't like. We want it real time. So we put all that into perspective. And then we put it into a NOC, network operation center. And from that point of view, then we say, what kind of report, what does the customer want to have out of that? Is it 10 minutes reports? Is it daily reports? Is it an app where you can see everything happening? that we work with these customers. So it's end-to-end -end consultancy, system integration, and managed operations. That has, including the platforms, of course. That's the way we have to do it.